You're about to watch a video that's an excerpt of one of my online courses, free sample if you will. If you enjoy it, please get in touch, dan at brojo.org, and let me know what you think. Ultimately, all of the limiting beliefs we've talked about in this section contribute to a grand plan, and that is to create a smooth, problem-free life, which I may have mentioned already. The credit for this term goes to Dr. Robert Glover, the author of No More Mr. Nice Guy. My interpretation of a smooth problem-free life is essentially one where all the emotions and all the outcomes suit your preferences. You live in a comfortable, narrow band of emotion that you feel safe with, and everything kind of goes your way in a nice, predictable plan. This belief implies that everything will go the way it's supposed to just as long as you act right. People-pleasing from our earliest childhood days was designed to create a smooth problem-free life and occasionally it seems to work. Sometimes it even often seems to work. So we figure if we just get it right, if we're the perfect people pleasers, then the smooth problem-free thing will happen all the time, not just in patches followed by patches of misery. Now, there are two main problems with this limiting core belief. The first problem is the second law of thermodynamics, entropy. Everything is constantly eroding. Everything is constantly falling apart. The universe is expanding. Everything dies. Everything comes to an end. Everything resets to the status quo. In other words, no matter how good you are, your life will eventually disintegrate. You are constantly working against the force of entropy. Just staying alive is kind of a miracle. Because the universe is trying to kill you all the time. The universe is trying to pull you apart, literally, atom by atom. So to even stay alive is a miracle. And to be able to maintain any sort of structured functioning in face of the constant attacks and obstacles that the world throws at us is amazing. The idea that you're going to have a smooth, problem-free life is ridiculous. Entropy it guarantees you will not. You will be in constant conflict with your environment and with yourself. Winning that conflict is what life is all about, which means you're going to be constantly in some sort of a battle. Now, sometimes the battle goes easy and you win with no scratches on you. And other times the battle is ridiculously hard and you lose a lot before you recover or you have to surrender. But make no mistake. You will always be in a battle, and it is a battle you will eventually lose. We all die eventually. And that's to give you a sense that this smooth problem-free thing is an illusion. There's no way it can exist. You can have patches of smoothness, but they will only ever be patches. It will never be sustained, no matter how good you are as a person. The second problem with this belief is even if it was possible... To create a smooth, problem-free life, to be happy all the time, human beings are wired for dissatisfaction. It's actually one of the main contributing factors to our successful evolution and domination on this planet, is nothing's ever quite good enough for us. We always want more. We always want things to be better. The thing that we used to be excited about, we now expect and feel entitled to. And that's just the way we're wired. That's the human psyche. It keeps us going. It means that our ancestors didn't stop at one berry bush and go, I'll just sit here forever. They kind of think, is there better berries around the corner? And that kept them alive because if you stay at one berry bush, you die. You've got this wiring. So even if you get everything you've ever wanted, it's only a matter of weeks before you're going to become unsatisfied with it. So how could you possibly stay smooth and problem free if staying still is unsatisfactory? So it's impossible to be comfortable and familiar and satisfied for a consistent period of time. And even if it was possible, entropy is going to erode it anyway. So the belief that you can have a smooth, problem-free life is a dangerous fiction. Because you're chasing something that cannot possibly exist. And if it wasn't unsatisfying enough to be a human being, you've just made it even more unsatisfying. Because you're never going to realize that the thing you're chasing cannot be attained. So what's a more realistic view of the world? It's hard. It's tough. It's almost kind of unfair that we are even consciously aware because we're born into suffering. We're born into misery. It is not possible to live a life without any suffering. 
We're wired for it and the universe is wired against us. We are in a constant battle from the day that we were conceived. But that's okay. That doesn't mean you have to get depressed or nihilistic or existential. What it means is you have to accept that you must be a warrior. You must fight. That's the only option you've got. It's fight or die. We don't get a range of options. You didn't choose to be born. I get that. Neither did I. But you're here now. And these are the rules of the game. So are you going to play? Or are you going to sit on the bench and whine until you die anyway? If you want to play the game, you've got to understand the rules. And the rules are it's unfair and it's hard. And if you want to be able to enjoy this, you've got to enjoy the fight. The Stoic philosophy has a great take on this. Life is a wagon, and we are tied to that wagon. Now, we can either run alongside it as it rolls along, or we can sit still and resist it and then get dragged behind it. The wagon doesn't care about us. The wagon is unaffected by us. It keeps going no matter what we do. It doesn't matter if we run beside it or get dragged behind it, the wagon keeps on going. So if the best life is running beside it, accepting the difficulties and the hardships and the confrontations and the things not going your way and the losses and the failures and the lessons are all part of the game. You've got to run with that stuff. You're going to have to go into it. You're going to have to face them. You're going to have to cause them to happen in order to live by your principles, to live with integrity, to be satisfied with yourself as a person. While I don't think you can be satisfied with life for very long, I do think you can become a person that you're satisfied with. But it's an ongoing maintenance. You have to keep running with the wagon. This isn't a finish line that you cross. It is a way of living. So at the end of each day, you look back on that day and you're satisfied with your behavior. And then you've got to start again the next day. And that's just the rules of the game. Seek to become anti-fragile. Try to become a person where if something doesn't go your way, it makes you a better person. See, every failure is a great lesson. See, every setback is something to give you something to work against, is resistance for training. See, every rejection is further awareness of what's right for you and what isn't, and, and feedback on your approach. Seek out discomfort. Face fears. Go look for the hard things to do rather than running away from them, especially when it comes to social interactions. And rather than seeking a smooth, problem-free life, Try to become a person who doesn't need one. Are you a nice guy or people pleaser who wishes they were more assertive, more honest, and better respected by others? Since 2013, I've been helping people just like you discover their integrity and apply it courageously to build deeper, meaningful connections, get respected by others, and become the confident person you've always wanted to be. Imagine being able to speak your mind without worrying what other people will think or worrying that it's the right thing to say, and being able to assertively stand up for yourself and your loved ones. Imagine never feeling the need to apologize for who you are or what you want, and being able to live carefree without shame or the I'm not good enough story in your head. Imagine going to bed knowing that you courageously took every opportunity available to you and you've got no regrets because you always know what you should be doing in every situation. I'm so confident in my ability to help people like you unleash your highest level of self-worth that I give people a free coaching session to test what I'm doing. In this one-hour session, we will uncover the biggest barrier to your confidence, whether it's an awareness problem, you don't know what you should be doing differently, or it's a courage problem, you know what you should be doing, but you find it too intimidating. I will guide you to make a breakthrough with your behavior to get through that barrier in a powerful way without feeling terrified and without destroying everything you love. I've had some people find this first session so powerful that I never hear from them again simply because they didn't need anything more after that. It launched them into the highest level of confidence that they've ever experienced. And if that's the result you get, I'm good with that. One client put it, This session was more valuable to me than three years of therapy combined. So if you're tired of trying to keep everybody happy and you're sick of worrying what other people think of you and you're concerned that your people-pleasing and conflict avoidance is going to damage your relationships, then come and have a talk with me. Worst case scenario, you get to experience what it's like to talk with someone who actually understands what it's like to be you. I've lived the nice guy experience for decades. I know it inside and out. I know that pain. 
case scenario, and very likely, you will have such a powerful insight into a behavioral change that you can make in the next 24 hours to significantly improve your confidence, relationships, and career. All I ask is that you be honest, open to change, and willing to try something new. Why wait another 10 years to discover confidence when you can do it today? Fill out the brief form below to apply for a trial coaching session. Do this quickly because there are limited spots each month. And then I'll get back to you to book in a time to talk.